Hey there, High Point family. Happy Wednesday. Uh, my name is Brandon, and, and today I'm excited to talk to you a little bit about rest. And uh, before you push stop on the video, uh, hear me out. Uh, I know you've been stuck in quarantine for eight or nine weeks, and the last thing uh, that you want to talk about is more rest. Um, but I think there's there's something interesting that we can learn uh, from Exodus chapter 17, right? And and uh, it's the story of the Israelites as they're in the wilderness and they're they're wandering and, and they get to this place and it says that they're thirsty. And they're so thirsty that they begin uh, complaining uh, so much so that God finally just uh, throws in the towel with them. He tells Moses, strike this rock with your staff and give the people some water and uh, get them off my back, basically. And... Uh, that part of the story is not what I want to focus on. It's it's the part right after that where where Moses actually names the place in which they have this interaction. He calls it Masa and Meribah, testing and quarreling, and, and he names it because the people's attitude towards what the God was trying to give them what was horrible. Uh, they saw it as uh, God's improvision. His his lack of care for them. And yet all that time through the wilderness, God had promised his people that he would give them exactly what they needed, that he would be their God. He would be with them. Uh, pillar of cloud by day and a pillar of fire by night. Uh, and yet the people were not satisfied. They weren't satisfied uh, with what the Lord was offering them. And it really comes down to this idea that they, they wanted more. They wanted more. And so today, my, my thought kind of goes to this idea of, of Sabbath rest. Uh, are you satisfied with the Sabbath rest the Lord has offered you in this quarantine? And, and maybe it's time to just look at your priorities, look at your life and your, your, your schedule and the way you did things before and, and, and say to the Lord, it's time for some new habits, uh, uh, some new uh ways in which I can order my life and, and set aside that that time to be with the Lord and to be at rest. I know it's been a valuable thing for me, uh, just setting aside some time to not always feel like I had to go, 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 uh, but to be able to sit at, at Jesus' feet and just hear him speak to me through his word and, and be in his presence and and I feel often that, that I'm more like Martha than like Mary. And I know uh, in that story that, that we're, we're, Jesus is using that as an example, that we're supposed to be like Mary. Uh, and, and I think that goes hand in hand with this idea of the Sabbath. You know, the Sabbath, uh, we're told in Mark chapter 2, uh, the Sabbath was made for man, not man for the Sabbath. And, and really it goes back to this idea that, that the Sabbath is a gift. It's a gift for us to reset, to reprioritize, to rest and focus on what's truly important. So I would ask you today, church, uh, have you done that today? Have you evaluated and prioritized what's truly important in your life? Or are you so ready to get back to the old way that you did life uh, that, that all that's going to go out the window? All the beautiful things that you have during this quarantine season that's all going to go out the window when you start scheduling meetings again and you, your calendar fills up to overflowing. God wants you to be at rest. He wants you to have those moments with him so that you can learn to love him and love others more completely. To have that holy rhythm and that pattern in your life so that you have refreshing in order to serve him better. In order to serve others and your neighbors better. And so, church, I would just encourage you today, set aside some time. Make the Sabbath a habit and a priority in your life. It doesn't have to be uh, Sunday or Saturday. Uh, it doesn't have to be a specific thing. But, but that daily um, and weekly rhythm of, of rest and being with the Lord so that it refreshes your soul so that you can then go out into this world and, and proclaim the truth of who he is, uh, more invigorated and more more uh, enlivened. That is what it's all about. And so find your Sabbath rest today, church. Uh, love you. Appreciate y'all. 
and I can't wait to see you hopefully soon.